Hello and welcome back to our Sagamber campaign. So, in the last episode, we forced our personal union onto Wex here, who I need to improve relations with. I have been forgetting to do that. Uh, so we have them under a PU, but uh, they are looking a little bit smaller than they used to. So we are declaring a reconquest war on Leslampar here for these three provinces. But these guys are... An you in uh, the number of provinces they have, but wow, they are developed. Like, stupid levels of developed. So we got to uh, deal with a lot of troops. They started out with about 100,000 infantry and about 60,000 cannons, but we are very quickly uh, eliminating them. I have just called BPEC into the war. I called them in at this point because I wanted Westham to come over here and get involved in the fighting. Now BPEC can go down and hopefully take these two provinces without any uh, contest. And that way we can instantly piece Westham and all of their uh, colonies out. Uh, I also forgot to build a fort down here. So I'm building it now. They just, all their troops just walked down and around and ruined everything up in here, all the prosperity. So that was unfortunate. But as for now, we are sieging down this level five fort up here and still stuck. Thank you on taking that province. We are no longer stuck. We will now flood into these provinces and occupy them. We cannot separate piece out Istralor because, uh, well, we, we can't. We need to take provinces from them. And we may need a little bit of help over here. Oh no, it looks like they're splitting up enough actually. Oh, they unseize this? Really? Wow, okay. Uh, that's upsetting. I didn't even see that when that whenever that happened. You guys go is that a level five, four? No, four level two, four level two. Our golden era has unfortunately come to an end. That's upsetting. Uh, it was a good run though. As for Axis, yes. Why? Why, BPEC? Why? Why go all the way around when you can just walk down? I don't get it. Okay. Whatever. So be it. If that's what you think is good, let's connect these guys together. Laurent, get your dirty troops out of my war. I did not ask for you to be in a war with you, so I don't want you renting them out either. Son of a gun. Uh-uh. Not happening. Not letting you do that again. Alright, so Revelian Artificers in Eberthil. The burgeoning craft of artificery, that is, empowering or creating new tools using magic and technology, has always been a favorite of the Revelian society. Many prominent artificers are known to be members of their local Revelian chapters, and a group of such individuals has apparently invested in Eberthil to create various workshops for their research, so we gain one base production. Very nice. Uh, we are at 40 power projection. Go ahead. You are a rival, so I will go ahead and send you a scornful insult. Thank you. And Laurent, you are a, not my rival, but you have rivaled me. You are not my rival. Who are my rivals? That's a good question. Who are my rivals? Uh, it's just Goet. I only have one rival. So I'll be rivaling Laurent and Sirenvar back here at the uh, end of the war. Ugh, this is a lot to go through. Makes me really want to take offensive ideas next, but I cannot afford the mill points, in all honesty. The Rinman Carnival Trope. Let's go and uh, collect taxes, I suppose. Yes. Good plan. They are now kind of trapped down here. This was a really big oversight on my on my part. Really big oversight. Causing a lot of problems now. Moonhaven, on the other hand, we can break their alliance. Alright, where are you going? Punishy Adventures, yes. Yeah, and I also, I, did, I didn't build a fort over here because I didn't think I'd need one anymore. Lots of mistakes were made, but that's all right. Port Munis has been occupied. I'm gonna go here. If they want to go across, that's fine, but I do not want them to, uh... Really? Can this be looted more? Oh yeah, way more looting. Wait, can you not? Hey, they can't move there for some reason. I don't, I don't know why. They are going to unseize that, that's what it's looking like, but that's okay. Oh, these guys are done for. Yep, 
and they're very deep in enemy territory, they do get to uh, retreat. These guys, on the hand, should not have the ability to retreat. Come on, Moonhaven. Let your capital fall. Oh, thank God. Okay. Yep, we're going to send them right back into uh, this province here. 670 defenders. Esmeraine. Let's go ahead and get you peace out. Give me your money. Give me your war reps. And I want you to break your alliance with Leslimpar and then end a rivalry. Give me as much prestige as possible just to keep it maxed out at all times. You are locked in. You are therefore dead. Uh, Moonhaven, we will peace out once we take this. Moonhaven and Istralor. Name a more iconic duo. Our air is just. Where are you landing? You landing in Sornstone? Well, that's unfortunate for you. Oh, can he not get over there? No, he can. Keep going then. Yep, that's a stack wipe. Stack wipe that 1k right there. If we can win a siege, of course. That is a big if. Thank you. You are landing down the Lion's Pass. Ironic, considering there is a uh, coastal defense there, so I don't know why you would want to land in a province that's going to take you longer to land in, but you do you. A disease outbreak, really? I've been getting pretty unlucky with sieges and such recently. Let's go ahead and let's study magic. Uh, let's study evocation. Spend more money. We give it another shot. Maybe money will be better than effort. Who knows? Now we'll bring you guys back up to the north. They should be... They have. It says they have 88,000 troops, but I don't know where they are. Like, legitimately. Okay, Dame's Crown is broken. Thank you for sending in your 60,000 troops. Uh, I appreciate it. Just stand there. Ancient Tome located. I don't have the money, so we'll spend the points, I suppose, since it didn't give me a choice. You guys, yes, yes, yes. Please, take the fort. The level one fort. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, Moonhaven. Sue for peace. I want max money. I want war reps. I want you to break your alliances. Okay, break them. You don't have any rivals? Okay, you do. No longer make Pearl's Edge your rival. What do you mean, bro? What kind of ridi- Fine. I don't know why you got to make this so difficult for me to piece you out. Don't end your rivalry. End that. Yes. Perfect. It won't keep them apart forever, but it'll keep them apart for a little bit at least. Makes me feel better. That's what matters. Alright. No, 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 no. You are not getting away. Not that easy. Not that easy. Okay, he got away. <laughs> So, so much for that theory, I suppose. Westham, 47,000 troops. We're not going to be able to get over to him. I don't I don't know what BPEC is doing, but it's not good things. Right? I think that just about summarizes it. We also, we do not have taking war score. So let's go ahead and get that. Take that there. And uh, yeah, the rest of Istralor must fall. So let's send you to the top, you to this fort here, and we'll send you down to occupy that province. Wow, that's another trash general from our uh, our good old boys in the Knolls. Alrighty, so we can now complete Secure the South. So look toward the south, across the calm waters of the Dibbon Hall, and one shall see a sea plagued by pirates, corsairs, and smugglers alike. Who strike indiscriminately. We must safeguard our shores through heavy fortification and the building of defenses that will be able to deter any foe. Alright, so we have plus 15% trade efficiency, minus 20% light ship cost, and minus 20% galley cost for 50 years. So, not too bad. Uh, and now we'll just need to plug the east, which is lots of military development and lots of ports. <laughs> Once again, I need a lot of military points to do all the development that I need. Okay, yes, everything looks to be working as planned. Istralor, Istralor, Istralor. 
I need you to accept the fact that you are not going to be doing well. So, Wex, yes. Pearl's Edge to Pearl's Edge. Can I force you to release? Oh, uh, not. Istralor. Yeah, but it costs Diplo. I'll get him eventually. Might just not be right now. But for now, yes, I want all of Wex's provinces, max money, and uh, war reps, if I can. If I can't, well, that's unfortunate, but I'm not going to sit here and wait to get Westum out. So I might break Westum and Istralor's uh, alliance. Uh, no, I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't. I have to take the provinces back for Wex. That's what I told myself that I would do. So I need to stick to it. We're also going to just puppy guard this province with the, this mercenary stack. Again, Wex must have like a bunch of troops over in the uh, the New World because I don't see them. Well, there's 30k right there. Ah, uh, never mind. We're not puppy guarding anything. We're going down south. We're going to push them out once again. We have converted a province. Another dwarven province must go. And we will full occupy Istralor now. On the year tick, we will be able to take tech. We are going to run into max admin beforehand, it looks like, though. Come on. Nope. It'll be much faster just to wait. Unlawful territory for Bennett. I highly doubt they will accept uh, a demand for unlawful territory. They will not convert because they are outraged, so let's improve with them. Let's influence them and maybe we can force them to uh, convert back. That's more valuable to me than them giving back a province. Benin, buddy, hey, let me influence you. Thank you. Now, you should stop being outraged. Okay, Estralor has been fully occupied. Let's go ahead, let's defend that straight, cross that straight crossing right there. You're going to defend this hold for that choke point. And once this is occupied, then we'll peace out for whatever we can get. Alright, Benin, you are friendly. Please, uh, convert. We will enforce religious unity. Thank you. We're now up to 28 Imperial Authority. Again, rising slowly. Ooh. Estalin is not a fan at the moment. Why are you so much not a fan? And Galen is not voting for me either. Emperor is not Anne Benarian. Yeah, that doesn't help because we're technically a different uh, different culture group. Current amount of reforms. My Diplo rep's fine. Huh. Estalin, you are voting for me barely. Do we have like max trust? Yeah, they just don't want to, uh, to vote for me. Guess I should have given it to somebody else. Yeah, let them in. Let them in. So, we have 37% war score. We could sit here and wait for ticking war score. I, I don't want to. <laughs> I, I literally don't want to. So, we are going to get whatever monies that we can from them, 170, 10 AE because it's reconquest, that's fine, and we'll go ahead and we'll, uh, we'll send the peace deal. Perfect. Now, Wex needs one more person. One more person. You actually have a claim on Arenthil here. Who has cores on these provinces? Because I know Magisterium did not start with both of them. I don't know. Uh, as for AE, we're doing fine. Our truce with Corvuria is up in 13. But we may take a lot of land from Corvuria, so... Yeah, I think... Oh, no. Okay, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. I can ask for military access, and I can get my troops back. Let's bring you back. Yeah, I think Corvuria is my next natural uh, target for attack, so we will go ahead and max out. Ooh. I want to not max out on my uh, points, though, so let's check our uh, little mission tree here. Yeah, waiting on that. 
Wexenar needs more barracks and training fields. I can do that. Cinch the north. Nope, that's manpower. Plug the east. That's manpower. Okay, so, but we can plan this out now. So, let's go ahead. All provinces in the east overmarch area are part of the EOA. Where is east and west overmarch? East overmarch. Ah. Well, that means that I'm going to have to take them out of trade companies which is unfortunate because I will need to convert them so we'll convert those we will add them to the EOA that will help us plug the east then I need in central Dreadmire North Dreadmire Baldistan and East Overmarch a fort and a base manpower at least 10 oh, okay this is Baldistan, so you are probably the best candidate for that. So you need mill points. I will make sure to get that to you when you need them, but I'm just looking for something else at the moment. North Dreadmire. Let's go ahead and state you. We're just gonna we're gonna state all of this. We're gonna state all of it. Apparently we need to. Now I don't have to develop. <laughs> No thinking for me, thank you very much. But I am going to need a fort in each of these provinces. So I'm going to end up putting one right here in Forest Watch. I think that makes sense for me. So that will have a fort. That has a fort. This needs a fort. Go ahead and put it. I mean, none of these are good. That's the problem. Put a fort right there. Oh, no, no, no. No, we won't. No, we won't. Put it where it's going to be cheapest to develop. But yeah, we'll put one right here. Or we can delete it after we complete the mission. That's fine. So that makes sure that every state... Nope, this one does not. Uh, yeah. Let's... Oh, actually. Port here isn't bad, because that is actually a gap in our defenses right now. It won't be in the future. But uh, it is right now. So we'll build a level 2 fort there. Perfect. Now we have all the forts building up that we need. We can go ahead and start drilling our troops. And waiting on speed 5. So go ahead and drill. Thank you. We will bring our uh, guys to where we need them to be. From an Ashiande revolt. Speaking of Ashiande. We're going to go influence. We're going to annex them in 1619 pretty fast if you ask me and I have to make sure to remember to keep it in mind that uh, they're gonna hate me or people in the Empire are not gonna be happy with me annexing them so it looks like the uh, centaurs are no longer monstrous that actually makes them much weaker as a uh, player I would never become non monstrous as the hordes essentially you start it as a horde it's a little different from the base game but you can snowball into just absolutely obliterating anything and anyone at any time. It's pretty crazy. So Wexenar provinces need barracks or training fields. So let's go ahead and make sure that they all have that ability at the moment. Go with a uh, training field. Yes. No. Yes. I can't make up my mind. Yeah, I want that one. And that one. Perfect. That gives us two. And then we'll wait for a little bit more money. And we'll build the third one. Spare no expense. I love points. And here in a month, we'll be able to finally take tech. Local unrest. Monthly autonomy change. Blah, 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 blah. You can also come off of that now. We have plugged that hole in our defenses, thankfully. They level four fort. Forts are costing quite a bit, but luckily with all of our uh, ideas and such, we are able to uh, make it a little bit cheaper. Corveria is 93 years old. No air. They are a vampire, by the way. <laughs> Just to make that clear, they are a vampire. Alright, I don't think we're going to be able to take tech. No, I'm not going to wait for that. I'm fine paying a little bit more. And we now have universities, which means we can start working on... This. Oh, 
this. <laughs> but we also need four own provinces with Wexenar culture that has eight base protection and eight base manpower. And having a weapons manufactory or a furnace. Right? I kind of talked about this a while ago. But these need to have a weapons manufactory. So I need to develop this to 10, or this to, to uh, 8 and 8. This needs to go to 8 and 8. This needs to be culture converted to Wexenard. Alright. This needs to be culture converted to Wexenard. As does this. I know it's more expensive to do it like hopping around. But I just want these ones specifically to be done. And yeah, I think that's all I'm comfortable doing for now. So that gives me another three that I'll be able to develop up. Castellan wants a royal marriage. I will accept that, of course, my friend. Lots of development. Lots and lots of development here. Man, I was really hoping for a personal union over Galen. Or Galen, but uh, I haven't gotten it yet. A little bit sad. Laurent, do not... Or not Laurent. Corvaria, do not die. Alright. I want to use my very very good uh cb against you to essentially take all of this there will be blood Ooh, scary all right just looking around here free protection against right oh yes i need to get a couple more uh rivals sirenvar and laurent sirenvar i'm going to send you an insult and i'm also going to go ahead and issue an embargo on you and i'm going to issue an embargo on laurent gives me 58 power projection which we love to see let's see oh and the age of witch kings has started so that is the end of the green tide there's a new era forged by war clouded by cults of personality but what happens when magic goes unchecked what happens in a land where the rules of old society no longer matter so, enables the absolutism mechanics and enables the religious conflicts. What could that mean? What could that mean? I thought we already went through a religious war. Is the religion of the realm not secured? And the flooding coast. We'll just, we'll state it all. Alrighty, so, the Ascani Wars of Consolidation. This doesn't really fit us anymore. Or, this doesn't apply to us directly. If you want to read it, you can go for it. But essentially... Things over in the east, in the Ascani region, are about to go crazy. Alright. This era is all about these guys consolidating, one person, eventually. And then just becoming super strong. So, we need to make sure our border is uh, secure. Alright. It is just whoever can win. And they get special mercenaries and the War of Consolidation costs us belly. But we do not get that. We do not get that. That would be kind of insane. Alrighty. Now is this Corvaria? Yeah, we're gonna leave these provinces in Corvaria or Corvaria for whoever wants to kind of eat them up. I don't want those provinces. The Magisterium wants an alliance. Well, I cannot really afford another alliance right now, so I'm gonna have to say no. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry, but I, I, I'll at least pretend like I'm sorry. Yeah, there is more that we could do here, but uh, I'm not worried about it. Um, well, actually, yeah, we won't state at all, so let's add all of this to a trade company here. Perfect. Because all of this already is in a trade company, as is this province, as of now. <laughs> this can also... Well, what are we... Yeah, this can also go into a trade company. Cool. We will continue on down the road. And I believe Avdal Tungur is now the correct religion. Of course. Uh, continue. Yes, with that guy right there. We will go ahead and enforce religious unity. Here we go. Now I'm looking at Arnanin. Ah. Yeah, we're going to need these four provinces, so it's a good thing that we are annexing our guy. Poison for the mind. Price of coffee drops by 60%. Absolutely obliterates coffee in the beginning of the Age of Absolutism. Absolutely obliterates it. Unregulated research? Sure. Marion Versailles has corrupt connections. 
So I believe that's one of our advisors. Yeah, our trade advisor. Um, I'll take the corruption, that's fine. Just keeping an eye over here. Barbaria in 1613. I'm getting real tired of getting raided though. That's getting annoying. Unlawful territory, go wet. Go wet. Whoa, hey, you can't do that. You cannot do that. Never mind, you can do that. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. I don't know if that fight is uh, worth it, if I'm going to be completely honest. Uh, no, it's not. I know I'm supposed to be like the protector of Anbanar, but uh, I'm the protector of Anbanar down here where I'm safe, if you know what I mean. We will have to deal with Gwet eventually. If only the rent would freaking ally me. Then we can absolutely obliterate them, and we can split them up. Two of a kind. Uh, no. Just give me military power, please. Great protection against the rent. One of the generals has gone to, uh, retirement. Recruit new general. Not very good. That drill, please. Thank you. Industrial, military industrial complex. That's fine. Looking at cinching the north, though. Oh, Rowan. I meant plug the east. So, you need to have 10 military development, but I need to estate you first. Alright, so let's go ahead and encourage development. One, two, three, four. That took away most of our mill points, but uh, that's fine. So, Bal Ord. Also have the province mod modifier Castanorian Citadel. You have that? You do. I don't know how you get rid of that, but okay. Um, so yeah, that's Baldostan complete. So as for this now, go ahead and encourage development. And we will go one and one. Perfect. Lots of points being spent, but I think it makes sense, right? It it makes sense for us to do this now. Like, we had our big conquest early on. No. What? Uh huh? How did you get that? <laughs> How did you get that province? I guess they own most of this at one point. Okay, that's fine. You can have that. That does not matter to me. No, not cultures. I want religion. Yep, and we'll go ahead and uh, do that one. Enforce religious unity. Get rid of that, and we can add this to the EOA. Perfect. Yes, you can have access. UPEC war has changed. A bunch of new mercenaries come to be hired, but we do not need them. We have our own special mercenaries. Uh, we love our mercenaries, so please do not try and take them away from us. Okay, port level at least four. Twelve owned provinces. <laughs> Base power, ten. Actually, we'll be able to do that pretty easily. We just have to upgrade most of these to four, because we'll already have the uh, necessary uh, manpower development. Right? So seven owned provinces. Culture is Wexenard. Must have a barracks or training field. I thought I did that. Are these not Wexenard? They are Wexenard. They have a training field. What am I doing wrong? That's the question. So, Culture's Wexenard. All of the following must be true. One of the following must be true. Have a barracks. Have a training field. Have a great trail. I think I built... Um... Nothing. I didn't build anything here. Yeah, I built training field. What? Okay, well, let's build a training field. Build... You already have a training field. I'm sus. There's something weird going on here. 
And I don't know if I'm just blind and I can't see it. Or if I'm really messing something up. Barracks? Training field? It has to have one of them. Maybe it needs to have a barracks. Maybe that's like the key and it's just being weird about it. I don't know. But I will figure it out in between episodes. I'm going to kind of mess around with that and see what's going on with the uh, mission. I don't want to do that during the video. It's probably not that entertaining to watch. So I'll look around. I'll plan out my development and I will plan out how to finish that mission. But for now, this is going to be it for the episode. I would like to thank you all for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.